All I need is one mic. Monday, I was standing in line, and it happened to be a very long line because there never is a short one at the post office. Some folks were impatiently waiting while others were patiently hating us. In line, cussing and fussing about how slow the postal service is. Actually, nothing gives me more pleasure than to witness this. Now flip that script. Doesn't this remind you of the welfare line so carefully designed to financially control, put that education on permitted hold, government cheese to clog our arteries, powdered milk for our little babies, and they know my people are lactose intolerant. And then they stretch out and brag about how much monies they spent. Missionary workers, the media pump up our heads, they portray missionary workers as scientists with elves. Send them out with vaccine to South Africa because South Africa can't help themselves. They want us to believe that vaccine was all what the people of South Africa received, but as long as I can breathe another breath, I choose not to forget about the black military men the government injected with venereal disease without their consent and knowledge their lives were endured. So as of today, if anybody gets VD, just a couple of shots and we all cured. All that just lay heavy on my mind while I was standing in line. And it happened to be a very long line because there never is a short one at the post office. Then I began to... Then I begin to think about how Hollywood portrays my people as whores, prostitutes, gangsters, drug dealers, drug users. That might have been acceptable for the 60s, but this is year 2013. Come on, wake up, Oscar, Hollywood, give me some variety because that mess just doesn't inspire me. All right. And since it doesn't, guess I better turn in my black heart. Guess I better turn in my black heart if you expect for me to vote for you just because you run for office, just because you're in the Democratic Party. No, you gotta share some skin. Show me some blood. I want to know what you're made of. Are you ready to walk that walk with me? Cry with me? Fight with me? Die with me? Matt Turner did. Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Gandhi, Rosa Parks, and guess what? None of them ran for public office, so guess I better turn in my black card. And while I'm at it, guess I better turn in my mama's black card too, because you're not going to find me standing in long lines going into debt to purchase brand name shoes to go on my baby's feet like Nike, Reeboks. Brand name clothes to go on my baby's back like Tommy Hilfiger and Calvin Klein because what's more important is what I can place inside their minds. Yeah. That doesn't come with a price tag. You can't repossess or foreclose on knowledge, courage, strategy, faith in God and belief in yourself. Guess I better turn in my black mama's garden. All that just laid heavy on my mind while I was standing in line and it happened to be a very long line because there never is, no, there never is, uh -uh. there never is a short one at the post office.